Hey, it's Monday night. I don't even know what day it is, number-wise. Uh, it's 9.20 at night. Just finished uh, some cardio. I'm about to start lifting. I'm wearing this uh, Hangman shirt. And uh, music tonight. Uh, by the band Atreyu. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? My name is Tomas Angel. Um, doing this for the major fitness challenge. Uh, I like to go, if everything goes well, five days a week. Uh, it's a good way to blow off steam after work, you know. <clears throat> uh, I've been on and off working out for a couple years now. You know, different, doing different diets, or different regimens and stuff like that. I'm on a pretty good one right now. Uh, I like to go to the gym, uh, I do a push-pull thing, so it's like, uh, Monday, Monday, or like the first two days are upper body, third day is legs, then upper body again for the next two days, you know, uh, push-pull, and, uh, a thing I like to do when I go to the gym is I have a t-shirt kind of addiction thing, and I wear different types of, uh, wrestling t-shirts, or just, you know, nostalgia t-shirts, you know, rug rats, stuff like that. But anyway, so today's shirt is, this is Brian Myers one. It's a great shirt, by the way, great quality. But yeah, man, it's motivation to take pictures, man. I get, get the catalog on my t-shirts. Uh, you know, stress relief. I look better. I feel better. You know, nothing like being sore the next day. Just knowing that, you know, you put in work. Everything counts, man. Every, like uh, they said, every rep counts. You know, start off small. And go big. Eventually, you'll get there. I mean, and, and if you don't see results at the first, you know, the first couple times you start going, you just got to keep going. Just know what's happening. And a lot of times, you won't even see the results. Everybody else will. That's the most important part. So, yeah, I made your fitness challenge. Keep it up, guys. <laughs> All right, beautiful Tuesday morning, 5.30 in the morning. Uh, got to bed late last night, early morning, but we're pushing through. We're a little... Malachi Black and music brought to you by Corn this morning. Let's do this.
All right, good morning. It is Saturday, March 19th. I missed yesterday's gym due to the fact that uh, we were getting our house signed papers. Uh, it was a busy, busy day, so I'm making up for it this morning. So back in Canandaigua, New York, on my way to the gym. And representing a little heavy metal rebel Frankie Kazarian this morning on the shirt. In the headphones this morning, it's going to be some Taking Back Sunday. Uh, and I'm going to focus on, on my shoulders. Seems to be the part that I missed this week. So don't want to let a week go by without them. But yeah, we signed our lease, officially Florida residents. <clears throat> so in six days, I will be making the drive from New York to Florida with our U-Haul. I cannot wait, I cannot wait to set up my office and my displays and my garage gym. It's gonna take some work, but it, I just keep picturing it. And I really cannot wait to get it all together and show off. <clears throat> first things first, let's do this gym thing. Don't you know tonight? I still love you, baby. Don't you know tonight? Don't you cry tonight? There's a heaven above you, baby. Don't you cry tonight? All right, March 20th, another reckless figure hunt. This is Stephen Reckless. Let's see what we can find. Of course, we got a whole bunch of Doctor Strange. Why wouldn't you? The movie's about to come out. Main thing that pisses me off, let's talk about that a little bit, is that I pre ordered these figures, right? From Walmart. Well, not from Walmart. I bought them at a Walmart because I pre-ordered them from Target. Target never sent them to me. And now I'm at a Target and they have them, right? And they have them on a weekend in which it's buy two, get one free on all Batman figures. So I could have saved some money there. But of course, I've already bought mine from Walmart after they didn't fulfill my pre-order here from Target. And I already opened them because that's what I do. So yeah. I will say, seeing the motorcycle in stock at the store is awesome. I already have it, but it's nice when you run into those things. Also, if you're a fan of Transformers, I wouldn't come to the Wilton, New York, Saratoga uh, Target because they never seem to have them in stock. It's always fun for me seeing Masters of the Universe Revelation figures. The only problem is I have all the ones I have here in stock. Stinkor is a specialty. You want to get Jason Muse to sign that. And I don't mean the box. I mean open the figure up, people. Get Jason Muse to sign the leg or something. Have his actual signature. Ruin the figure. Make it worth nothing. That's the game I play. 
Not really big into the whole wrestling thing, but we'll go through, see what they got, see if there's any in this area that some people are looking for. Doesn't look like they have much, but. I must say that uh, Target's gotten a little bit more lax about their organization in the past few months. It always seems disheveled and you can never find anything. What up guys, reacting Amari here, a small running, I felt, I felt the camera kind of close, a small running in another store, another Walmart, it's actually closer to my house, but I don't like this Walmart, not wrong out, I get lost every single time, but let's see what we got on this Walmart. I think I found the owl, yeah. Let's see what they got on this Walmart. All right, so basically they don't have much either. They have the rings and the Ben and Vatch. A lot of WWE, but no AEW. But they actually have this pack right here. Looks kind of dope. A lot of Jeff Hardy's. Oh, they actually have... Oh, that's Nyla Rose back there. Uh, it's one more speedy stack, I would say, but a lot of kind of the same thing. Yeah, not a lot. All right, guys, uh, that's my report for today. I don't know when this is gonna be edited and upload, but today's March 27, I think. But anyway, guys, I'm out. Take care and wave your hair. Finest.